today. Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne and psoriasis and eczema and rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing system a miracle it really is no miracle at all it is simply the way the body works if you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs we are here for you on the bright side we welcome your phone calls our number is 855-660-4261 if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have a success story you'd like to share, 855-660-4261 is your number. Likewise, if you have questions about the Yongevity products, ingredients, formulations, skincare products, health challenges that you or a loved one is facing, if you want to get off your prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, our number is 855-660-4261, and we are here for you. We want to help you out, 855-660-4261 is your bright side phone number for you guys who want to purchase any longevity products the ones you hear advertised or recommended on the program you can call the bright side ben phone team at 866-735-2470 that's 866-735-2470 make sure you ask them about my personal favorite longevity product the beyond tangy tangerine multivitamin mineral complex powder you add to water and drink it's a wonderful source of b vitamins and vitamin a and vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e amino acids chondroitin great for your joints great for your blood pressure you can lose weight using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's a wonderful way to fill up before you go to parties. If you suspect that you may overindulge in holiday foods, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine can be one of your best tools, one of your best weapons against overeating and overindulging this holiday season. It makes a great Christmas gift, especially for older folks. It's 50 bucks a canister, and you can find out all about it by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Of course, you can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com. You can click on the Buy Now link and pull down the menu. All the longevity products are up there, including the BTT and the Ultimate Classic and the Tangy Tangerine and all the longevity products that you hear advertised on the program are up at brightsideben.com. You can also click on the Join the Team link and start yourself a longevity business for a one-time $10 fee. You can make some money selling longevity products and enjoy all the benefits of all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. You can help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program and make a little bit of money to boot. And some folks are making quite a bit of money selling Beyond Tangy Tangerine and helping spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. And, of course, that's what we're all about here on the Bright Side. And welcome aboard. Thank you so much for joining us on the Bright Side program. We're here every day helping spread the good news, the gospel of good nutrition. I call it the gospel. The gospel means good news. I call it the gospel of good nutrition because it's the good news that says that whatever our health challenges are, we can reverse it without having to resort to medicine, without having to resort to drugs, without having to resort to the medical model at all. We've been talking about protein and protein sugars, proteoglycans, protein sugars, 
as far as far as it regards the health of the body in general, the eyes specifically. Last program we talked about the glucans. Those are long chains of sugar of glucose, long chains of glucose, which have interesting non-sugar property or non-sweetening properties. When we think of sugar, most of us think of sweet, but sugars have lots of other properties. And when they're linked together, little pieces of sugar, little molecules of sugar are linked together. They're not necessarily sweetening entities, but they got lots of really interesting properties, including uh, building the immune system, strengthening immunity, helping fight cancer, lowering blood, uh, blood fats and cholesterol, and they're also very important for cell health and for eye health specifically. But before we get into talking about that, I want to talk a little bit about this multivitamins article. This, do you need multivitamins? The conclusions are out. The doctors say you don't need multivitamins. This article, uh, this, um, uh, um, these articles that have hit, hit the media the last week based on a couple of studies that were done and based on an editorial that was written in the annals of, uh, hmm, what was the name of that? I forgot the name of that journal. Uh, annals of Internal Medicine. Uh, and uh, caught a, got a lot of news, got a lot of letters, got Facebooks on it, phone calls on it. And I want to talk about that a little bit. And then we'll continue our discussion on proteoglycans. As some of you may know, the headlines, these provocative headlines, sensational headlines, multivitamins are a waste of time, multivitamins are a waste of money. The conclusions are in. Scientists say multivitamins don't work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Horse hockey, baloney. That's craziness, silliness, and a complete misunderstanding about what vitamins are. So here's my take on this, this nonsense. First of all, leaving aside for the moment, the flat-out bad science that's associated with these kinds of studies, these two, these two studies in particular, and the subsequent conclusions, I'll get to those here in a moment. Leaving that aside, the most important point, the way I look at it, the most important point, the most important misunderstanding about these kinds of studies that come out periodically about how vitamin E is not necessary, or vitamin E supplements aren't necessary, and beta carotene supplements cause cancer, and uh, now we got the multivitamins that you don't need. What really gets me, gets my goat about these, these crazy, crazy, sensationalist headlines is the misunderstandings about the word vitamins. We throw around these words, and not so much to you guys who are listening to this program, but folks in the media and people who don't understand nutrition, who don't care about nutrition, throw around this word vitamins, and unfortunately, even healthcare professionals do it too. Doctors do it too. They seem to think that the word vitamin is synonymous with a little pill that you take every morning. When you hear people talk about vitamins, a lot of times they're just talking about this little pill that you take in the mornings, as in, should I take a vitamin? Or don't take vitamins, it's a waste of time. Sometimes they'll say multivitamins. Don't take multivitamins, it's a waste of time. So what exactly are we talking about here? What is a vitamin? In my opinion, this way of describing supplements, that is nutritional supplements, Supplemental molecules that you take in with your foods, this way of describing nutritional supplements and making them synonymous with the word vitamin really doesn't serve anybody. This way of describing supplements, of making a supplemental pill synonymous with a molecule, a a, a chemical that the body needs as much as your car needs oil or as much as your car needs gasoline, gasoline, trivializes this absolutely vital nature of the chemicals of life. That's what a vitamin is, people. It's the chemicals of life. The word vita means, vita means life, amines are a type of chemical. So vitamins are the chemicals of life. And when you understand that vitamins are the chemicals of life, It becomes obvious how saying things like using vitamins is a waste of time or asking should I take vitamin supplements is really, really dumb. Of course you need the chemicals of life. Are you living? Well, then you need the chemicals of life. Would anyone say that using extra chemicals of life is a waste of money? I call vitamins life force chemicals because vitamins carry the life force. That's what vitamins do. They are carriers of electronic energy. Nothing more, nothing less. They carry their temporary holding spots for electrical energy so that it can be used in chemical reactions. Actions. That's what a vitamin is, all right? Simple. A vitamin is just a molecule that carries electricity, temporarily holds on to electricity so that a chemical reactions can proceed. I call them life, life force chemicals. When anyone say using extra life force chemicals is a waste of money, 
Would anyone say uh, taking life force chemicals every morning is, is a waste of time? Or should I ingest the chemicals of life? Or should I ingest the life force? Or should I ingest the chemicals that my body needs to beat my heart and pump my lungs and detoxify my blood or clear out my bowels in a, in a capsule or in a drink or in a tablet every morning? Should I do that? Does I think I should do that? Well, of course you should. How can anybody say you shouldn't? All right, I'm going to finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We will be back right after this. You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U-Health.com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. Gold is like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA-sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by LaSig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by LaSig a long time ago. LaSig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiasts with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, Lasig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a Vapriot at Lasig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. Lasig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Wishing you the brightest of Christmas seasons and best wishes for the new year from the Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, we are back. 
back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our number 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can head over to brightsideben.com and click on the Join the Team link. You can also purchase any of the Ingevity products you hear us talk about on the program off of brightsideben.com. Our number today, 855-660-4261, and we do have a couple lines open for you. Talking about this article that appeared in the, well, appeared all over the media, but it was derived from the Annals of Journal, the Annals of, of uh, Internal Medicine editorial that talked about how you don't need multivitamins, blah, 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 blah. Well, you know my take on this stuff. Vitamins are the chemicals of life. You need the things. Now, there should be in the foods, and, and as I was saying before we went to break, the purpose of vitamins, the, the function of vitamins, is to carry electrical energy. They carry electrical energy from foods. This is why it's so important to eat whole foods, and indeed, whole, unprocessed foods should be our best source of vitamins. It sucks that we have to supplement with vitamins, but we have to, because the food is corrupt. The food is empty. The food is processed. The food is Franken-food, monster food that never was alive. So it doesn't really have the vitamins, the, the life force molecules that it needs. Thus, the only real way to get enough life force molecules to run your body, to pump your blood and your, uh, to, to pump your heart and to clean your bowels out and to digest your food, the only way to get these molecules of life in enough, uh, enough quantity is to supplement, to drench your body with these things is the ultimate way to, uh, to get these things into your system because they're not in the foods. The Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate uh, Daily, the Mighty 90, all the things we talk about here on this program, all the things Dr. Wallach has been talking about for so many years, all the things I've been talking about for so many years, involve drenching and saturating your body with these molecules of life. How can anyone, once they understand that these things are the carriers of the life force, the amines of life, vitamins, but how can anybody, once you understand that these things are the chemicals of life, say that taking them uh, supplementally, adding them to your diet, is a waste of time or a waste of money? Now, as far as the specifics of these really flawed studies go, check this out. First of all, there's the whole subject of adherence to the program. Well, I should tell you about these studies, first of all. There were two studies. One was done on heart disease and one was done on cognitive function, brain health. And they gave people multiple vitamins and then they assessed them to see how, uh, if there was improvement over, uh, if folks who took multivitamins showed better heart health or better brain health over folks who didn't take the supplements. And what they found was there was no difference. That's the, the gist of the studies. But these studies are based, uh, these uh, conclusions are based on bad science. First of all, there were the subjects that were supposedly taking the multiple vitamins weren't really taking the multiple vitamins. At least they weren't taking them all the time. They were considered to be uh, taking multivitamins if they took them two-thirds of the time. In other words, if the subjects who were supposedly dosing with multivitamins skipped two or three days a week, they still counted as vitamin-taking subjects, and the results were still counted to the conclusions. This, uh, this results were still, still contributed to the conclusions. Yes, supposedly people who took multivitamins showed no difference in, in terms of brain health and, and heart health over folks who didn't, but the problem was these folks didn't take the multivitamins all the time, yet the results still counted. Did anyone read about that in the New York, in the New York Times or in CNN or in Fox News? In the second study, as hard as it is to believe, 46% of the participants completely discontinued taking their multivitamin. Nearly half of the participants didn't even participate, yet their results were still counted in terms of conclusions that were drawn. And how much stuff was in these so-called multivitamin doses? Nobody tells you that, right? I had to go purchase the, the articles. It cost me 20 bucks an article. I had to spend $40 to read the studies to find out how much of the stuff was used. And as it turns out, not very much. In the one study that was done on heart disease, 50 IU of vitamin E or vitamin D was used, for example, 50 milligrams of vitamin B6, one of the most incredibly important heart healthy vitamins there is, was used. Tiny smatterings of vitamins were used in the cognitive function study, the brain health study. It was even worse. They used a centrum silver with nothing, hardly anything in there. Now, what kind of scientist, or, or for that matter, layperson, would make an assessment on the value of supplementation that was based on trivial, minuscule, tiny amounts of supplements? Even in the study itself, 
a limit, the, uh, the authors of the study described as a limitation, low doses of multiple vitamins. They said it right in the study. They said, well, we can't really make a complete conclusion. We can't really form a, 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 a really good conclusion because we use very low doses. Folks, that's right in the study. It's right in the, in the heading, in the abstract of the study. This is not going to be, you're not going to read about this in the headlines. You're not going to read about this in the New York Times. You've got to buy the study. You've got to get the study from the Annals of Internal Medicine and actually read it. The conclusions that researchers drew were based on patients' reports of what supplements they took. It was an honor system. It was based on memory. It was based on recollection. Conclusions weren't, the conclusions that multivitamins don't work weren't based on scientific measurements. They were based on questionnaires. Does anyone out there believe that a questionnaire constitutes the rigorous standards of the sci- that, uh, that are mandated by the scientific method? Did you read about this in the New York Times? No. In the Fox News uh, screaming headlines, these articles about no multivitamins, vi- multivitamins aren't necessary. Did anybody tell you that it was all based on questionnaires and people's recollections of what kind of vitamins they took? And by the way, what were the criteria that researchers used to determine whether these things were effective or not. When they say these things weren't effective, what were they basing their criteria on? Well, in the first study, the authors determined that a 25% reduction in heart disease or heart pathology would be required to determine that multivitamins were effective. In other words, if it was 24%, if there was a 24% improvement, they determined that multivitamins were not effective. Now, do you think that if a drug could reduce your risk of a heart attack by 24% that it would be considered wasteful or ineffective? No, it would be considered a miracle. Yet these guys who did this study uh, considered 25% reduction in heart disease to be the cutoff figure for efficacy of these multivitamins. You want more reasons not to pay attention to these ridiculous conclusions? All right, how's this? Subjects in the multivitamin-taking group had higher rates of diabetes, than the, than, which is one of the greatest risk factors there is for heart disease. Subjects uh, who took the multivitamins were more diabetic than the subjects who took the placebo. The deck was stacked towards, uh, towards disease in the multivitamin group and towards health in the placebo. This is in a supposedly objective scientific study. And... Last but not least, how about all the other studies that have been done to show the importance and health relevance of taking an even tiny, paltry, bare bones, minimum multivitamin when it comes to health and uh, health improvement? How about the Physician's Health Study that found that a multivitamin was associated with a 12% reduction in overall cancer incidence? The same study found that a multivitamin, a daily multivitamin use produced a 39% reduction in fatal heart attack risks. How about uh, the supplementation study, uh, vitamins and mineral antioxidant study that found a 31% reduction in total cancer incidence in men who took a daily multivitamin. Another study published in the Journal of the American Society for Parenteral Nutrition showed that postmenopausal women who took just vitamin B6 and B2, uh, B2 riboflavin, reduced their risk of colorectal cancer. Long story short, folks, these things are not optional. They are essential. They're the very opposite of optional. I blogged about this at PharmacistBen.com if you want more information. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for under $30,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Take delivery in spring. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335.
It's time for a home security quiz. Answer this. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments, and sells for less than $35? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in, with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. It's like a lamp on a timer, but far more convincing. And for only $34.95, fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. Go to faketv.com or call one 877 Seven seven five fake tv that's 877-532-5388 or go to fake tv.com fake tv the burglar deterrent if you owe the irs back taxes listen carefully sweeping changes to irs policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all and now i can help you reduce or eliminate your tax debts and end your tax nightmare Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce and eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. And with the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited-time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. From our family to yours, have a very Merry Christmas. We are the Genesis Communications Network, GCN. And we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here, folks. A couple more things. Well, let me just say one last thing about this crazy study or this crazy editorial. This whole thing is based on an editorial that appeared in the Annals of Internal Medicine. The editorial was based on two studies, a heart study and a brain study that supposedly showed that multivitamin use, a daily multivitamin use, made no difference in improving uh, improving pro- the prognosis of folks who had heart problems, heart disease, or in improving brain health. The problem is, um, lots of problems, but the biggest problem, one of the biggest problems is they were given just this tiny little dose of nutrients. 
And then from this tiny little dose of nutrients, they determined that a multivitamin is a waste of money. And that, thus the headlines, multivitamins, waste of money, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. And we hear this periodically from the medical model. Folks, long story short, vitamins are not optional. They are essential, which is the opposite of optional. Why would anybody dissuade or try to convince somebody not to use these things supplementally? Why? What could be the ultimate purpose of the medical model trying to tell you not to use these things, trying to persuade you that these things are a waste of money? We cannot live without these substances, period. Period. Without vitamins B and C and D and E and K, without the 60 minerals, without the two essential fatty acids, without 10 or 11 essential amino acids, you cannot have a long, healthy, vital, disease-free life. Period. This is not opinion. This is fact. It's the definition of essentiality, of the word essential. The appearance of diseases and degeneration in response to the lack of these substances, which are easily available through longevity, through the Mighty 90, through a multivitamin, it's one of the, to avoid these things, to try to tell anybody not to take these things, to not have these things in your life, it's one of the great tragedies of our modern lifestyle when they are so easily and readily available. And to have medical professionals who are supposed to be taking care of us, who are supposed to be taking care of our health, to have scientists and the media and other sources that we should be able to trust spew out venom and hostility and to have them perpetuate this misleading, mendacious dishonesty about the importance, the absolute, absolutely vital nature of multivitamin supplementation, of nutritional supplementation, is absolutely egregious, nasty, hostile, and unfair. That's all I'm going to say about it. If you want more information, I've blogged about this thing extensively at pharmacistben.com. I put a little brief, a brief little uh, essay a couple of days ago, and there's a much longer essay that should show up today or tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow on the Bright Side, we'll continue talking about these complex long-chain sugars and protein sugar complexes for eye health and for general health. Uh, we will do that tomorrow. Time to hit our phones. 855-660-4261 is our number. Let's see. Uh, Ed in Texas, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Uh, hey. Hey, Ed. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey. What's going on? Hey, all uh, right. So I was just wondering, so in your estimation, is uh, – is there any value in taking these conventional over-the-counter multivitamins like uh, one a day or yeah. nature's way? Good, I mean, there's a, good... a whole volume of them out there, and I was just wondering, yeah. in your estimation, is no. there actually... There is value, but it's like saying, is there value to working for the minimum wage? Well, yeah, there's value to working for the minimum wage because if you don't get your nine or eight bucks an hour or whatever the minimum wage is now, right. you're not going to be able to pay the rent. But is that going to be enough for you to live like a human being should live? No, of course not. Yeah, of course so, yeah. not. You know what I'm saying? A multivitamin is the bare bones minimum. It's the minimum wage. So, yes, it's important if you're not getting anything else, but it's nowhere near enough you need to have much more than just a multivitamin. So it's a tough question. When you phrase it that way, I can't really answer that question. Yes, there's value, but but not compared to what you really need. Does that make sense? Uh, and, I, I, uh, and I suppose it also depends on uh, your diet. All of that. You but know, it's I mean, just not possible these days to get a, to eat to get everything you need from a diet. This is my opinion. It's not possible to get everything you need from your diet. Just one little tiny example. Vitamin E. Every study that's been done on vitamin E shows you need 400 international units of vitamin E to get the heart benefits and the brain health benefits and the blood benefits and the liver benefits. Uh, the biggest, the, the, the densest food source of vitamin E is probably sunflower seeds or maybe sunflower oil, which will get you maybe 30 IU in an ounce. So you'd have to eat a pound of sunflower seeds every day just to get your just to get your vitamin E. Who's going to do that? It's not possible to do that. So it's really difficult to get everything you need from food. Now this is uh, doesn't even include the fact that because the soils are corrupted, because the soils don't have the minerals. That means the plants don't have the nutrients they need. So uh, tomatoes and apples and, and, and seeds and nuts and all the things that we're supposed to be eating that should have nutrients in them because the soils, the dirt that the, these things are grown in are empty. The foods themselves are empty. Then you throw in processing and heating and cooking and storing and shipping and freezing. Right. It's just not possible. And, Ed, it's so easy to get these things in a supplemental fashion. Now, supplemental fashion, it's not perfect. 
And I, I said this before, I'll say it again. I wish I didn't have to supplement. I wish I lived in the Garden of Eden as we should be because the earth is, it should be like the Garden of Eden. The soil should be packed with minerals and the plants should be loaded with protein and amino acids and vitamins and, and everything that we need to grow. But it's not. That's not the world we live in. So it doesn't do us any good to gripe about it. Do what we can do, which means get yourself on the Mighty 90, get yourself on a supplement program. At the very least, folks, sip on the BTT at the very least. And you know what? Let your body be a laboratory. See how you feel. Are you going to completely reverse the disease process by taking nutritional supplements? Probably not, depending on how, how, further, how, down the, how far down the road you are, how far down the rabbit hole of degeneration and destruction of the body you've gone, how far you've gone down the path. But... You can certainly do a world of good by doing this thing strategically. And even if you don't completely reverse your degeneration, you're going to feel a lot better. All right, Ed? And, and, uh, and I, I've read that, uh, I forgot where I read this, but at least 51% of our diet should be on raw food because it's easy on the digestive system and what have you. But Well, it's actually a little bit. It, raw foods, raw foods are very important, but the problem with raw foods is sometimes you need a little bit of heat to break up the foods. And, and cooking, actually, right. especially cooking of proteins, sometimes can make those proteins. Without, not overcooking, though, but slight cooking, slight heat can make those proteins. And certainly uh, uh, vegetable nutrients, uh, heat can break up cellulose to, to release vegetable nutrients. Slight amount of cooking can help, can be beneficial. But certainly uh, you do want as much of your, you want a, a huge percentage of your intake of foods to be raw. That way you get the enzymes and you don't. Don't destroy the vitamins and the other nutrients which he can do. And real, you know, real quick, uh, and I'll I'll leave you with this question. I don't know if people have I've ever wondered this, but I'm just wondering when in, ter- in terms of uh, cooking oils, uh, would you consider coconut oil to be the best to cook best. with? Best and butter. Coconut oil, ghee, butter, saturated oils are the best oils to cook with. They're the most stable, and plus the taste of butter in coconut oil is exquisite. So, yeah, those are the best oils to cook with. You want to be very, very, very careful about cooking with nutritional oils or oils with essential fatty acids in them because they're so unstable, although uh, some cook, some nutritional oils are a little bit more stable than others. Uh, macadamia nut oil happens to be really a, a neat oil. It's got wonderful essential fats in there, and it's also uh, relatively stable. Uh, but in yeah, general, I'm yes. In general, I've coconut about, oil and butter. Yeah, I've read about how coconut oil, that seems to be like a sort of a miracle. It's <laughs> borderline, borderline, borderline miracle. Yeah, I won't say miracle, but borderline. Thanks, Ed. Got to move on, buddy. Have a beautiful Karen, day, thanks. bro. Have a beautiful day, man. Okay. Uh, Karen in California, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. Um, I have a question. My husband um, recently started taking Lipitor again. I had told him, <clears throat> excuse me, how bad it was for you and or for him. And he was convinced by his doctor he should take it again. So Okay. Well, do you want me to help you with that? Yeah, yeah what can I do. Love I don't want it to skip. If somebody, you know, <sighs> I, I don't like convincing anybody not to take drugs. I, if you want to take them, you take them. It doesn't make any chemical sense. It doesn't make any biochemical sense to do it. Hang on here. We'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, Dr. Peter Glitton has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like 
stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, buying them another sweater, game, or other holiday gift they didn't need was nice. But this season, why not take the easy road, the safer road, and the smarter road? Get those you love something they do need. Give the gift of preparedness with Freeze Dry Guy gift cards. Since 1970, the veteran-owned Freeze Dry Guy has been your trusted source for emergency preparedness with easy-to-make, delicious freeze-dried foods and dehydrated foods. These long-lasting foods are lifesavers, which come with added comfort, confidence, and convenience, perfect for any power outage, natural disaster, political crisis, or emergency at home, such as job loss or illness. Call Freeze Dry Guy now at 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD or log on to freezedryguy.com. You can't predict what's going to happen to your loved ones, but when it does, you can have them ready with gift cards from freezedryguy.com. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Hi, I'm Ed Krell, CEO of Destination Maternity. We proudly support the March of Dimes work to reduce the rate of premature birth. The numbers have gone down in the past five years, but still, nearly half a million babies are born too soon in the United States each year. We're helping the March of Dimes fund cutting-edge research and community programs to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit MarchofDimes.com. Wishing you the brightest of Christmas seasons and best wishes for the new year from the Genesis Communications Network, GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to Karen in California. Karen, are you there, ma'am? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okie dokie. So I take it your husband doesn't listen to the bright side? No, he doesn't. (laughs) Okay. Maybe you want to sneak that on in the kitchen when he's making his breakfast or something. Yeah. Uh, Here's the deal. Lipitor, like all drugs, just suppresses chemistry in the body. Now, I know I'm I'm not talking to your husband here. I'm talking to you. But, uh, Karen, just uh, can you tell me why would anybody think it's okay to poison a system in the body? Well, what what goes through people? You tell me. You live with your husband. You know your husband. What goes through his head when he just takes something, a pill, that shuts down chemical reactions? The body's a chemical system. Our lives are based on chemistry. Why would somebody think it's a good idea to shut down a chemical system in the body? Because his doctor told him that it's so good, he believes it should be put in the water even. And, and he so he's basically doing it because so, so basically he hasn't thought this out for himself. He's just doing it because the doctor told him to do that. Yes, Is that that's, okay, that's so maybe right. that's maybe that. I'm not judging anybody. Maybe that's the reason because when you sit still, you sit on your couch or on your chair, and you think about it, you just say, well, why would I want to suppress my body's chemistry? Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense. Aside from the fact that maybe the doctor, who, of course, is like God or next to God, told him to, other than that, it just flat out doesn't make sense. Look, Lipitor is a statin drug that suppresses the production of the body's single most, at least arguably, the body's single most important chemical. It's called cholesterol. Cholesterol is not a bad guy. Cholesterol is a good guy, a very good guy. Cholesterol is what distinguishes human beings and animals from plants. It is the distinguishing molecule of the animal kingdom. It's uh, the molecule that's responsible for our ability to move, for our ability to think, for our ability to fight diseases, for our ability to create the very essence, the very basics of life, which are called cells. No cholesterol, no cells. No cholesterol, no sex hormones, no testosterone, no estrogen, no cholesterol, no vitamin D, no cholesterol, no uh, stress hormone, no cortisol, no 
cholesterol, no cells. No cholesterol, no neural lining on the uh, on the uh, uh, on your nerve cells, on your neurons. What, uh-huh. what else do we got to hear? You right. Know? Yeah. It can't, you can't pick a more vital substance in the body. Yet your boneheaded doctor wants to put this stuff in the water that suppresses cholesterol production. All right. So that's my yeah. rant. But okay. what do you do? Here's what you do. Okay. Elevated cholesterol needs to be regarded first and foremost as a sign of dis glycemia. That's a big word, fancy word, but it's a word that we really need to understand because it's behind many of our health crises. Dis means dysfunction, broken down, messed up, destructed. Dis, D-Y-S, messed up. That's all, messed up. Glycemia, G-L-Y-C. Whenever you hear glyce, think sugar. Glycemia, hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, dysglycemia. Dysglycemia means messed up blood sugar. Messed up blood sugar means messed up cholesterol. It's as simple as that. Okay, we just cut right through it. We just cut through the whole cholesterol baloney. Messed up cholesterol is messed up blood sugar. That means if you want to correct elevations in cholesterol, correct dysglycemia. Dysglycemia, messed up blood sugar, is a, is a voluntary health condition. We've got to decide to have it through our eating behaviors. So changing your eating behaviors is the way to stabilize cholesterol. It's, it's really simple. Uh-huh. Number one. More protein, less refined sugars and carbohydrates. Get him on whey protein and make sure that he's reducing his intake, not with willpower, but by eating more whey protein of breads, pasta, cereals, fruit juices, cakes, candies, desserts. You know the drill. Fruit juices. Right. You, know, you know what we always talk about here. That's the number one thing you do, and I will guarantee you, 100% guarantee, if he does that, not only will he lower his cholesterol naturally without drugs, but he'll lower his blood sugar, he'll reduce his risk of diabetes, he'll lose weight, he'll, his blood pressure will drop every Every single, and his blood fats will drop too, by the way, every single marker of health will improve once he establishes or once he corrects dysglycemia. And that is using more protein as well as essential fatty acids, which are also important. By the way, cholesterol is really important for the skin. It may be the skin's most important element as well. So once he stabilizes his cholesterol and gets off the standard drugs, his skin health will improve too. In any case. All right. uh, uh, reducing his intake of sugars, refined carbohydrates, upping his intake of protein, upping his intake of essential fatty acids. Then there's the micronutrients that are very important for sugar control, and they're also important for helping lower cholesterol naturally. Vitamin E, 400 IU a day, super important. Coenzyme Q10, 100 to 200 milligrams a day, super important. I mentioned essential fatty acids, that's important. Both, uh, all the B complex, but especially vitamins B1 and B3. Uh, B3 niacin alone, just niacin alone, works as good as a statin drug for lowering cholesterol. Uh, and it's completely non-toxic. Of course, niacin is one of the most important blood sugar stabilizing vitamins you could ever take. I'd be using a time-release niacin uh, uh, if I was interested in lowering cholesterol, 100 to 200, even up to 500 milligrams a day. Timed release. That's the key right. with niacin, with high doses of niacin. But make sure he's sipping on the BTT with his timed-release niacin and his b Complex. Sipping on the BTT can help get you the entire B complex. B5 is also helpful for lowering cholesterol, and B12 is helpful for everything, but it can also be helpful for lowering cholesterol too. Don't forget okay. about vitamin C. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, chromium and vanadium, the sweeties from longevity. I'd be throwing that in as well. So there's okay. so many options here, Karen. Uh, it, it, it's, they're non toxic. He doesn't have to go to the doctor. He doesn't have to spend money. He doesn't have to have his blood tested. He doesn't have to interface with Obamacare. There's so many upsides to staying away from the medical model when it comes to lowering cholesterol and using nutritional supplements. It's hard for me to figure out why. Everybody doesn't just throw their darn drugs down the toilet, get on a nutritional supplement program, correct their health on their own without the medical model. It seems so self-evident to me. Um, uh, maybe that's just yeah. me. No. Right. And then I, I uh, saw, I believe it was on YouTube, uh, a video about um, cholesterol drugs, you know, like Lipitor and everything. And it was a study, or I forget. But anyway, it, was, it said that, um, the number 200 for cholesterol was sort of a, just an arbitrary number that the doctor... Oh, dude, I'm sorry, Barbara, I cut you off. I apologize. I apologize for that, Barbara. Yeah, the number 200, it's, it's worse than arbitrary. It's made up by the drug companies. It's made up by the people who are selling you the poison. There's no magic 200 or 120 or 130. And by the way, the number changes every five or ten years uh, to make the drugs more sellable. I'm sorry I cut you off on that, Barbara. That was my bad. Um, yes, you're right. The numbers are arbitrary, and it's just absolute nonsense. Absolute, absolute nonsense. All right, CJ in Texas. Well, 
welcome to the bright side. What's up? Said, okay, well. CJ? Hello? Hello. What's going on? Oh, hi. Uh, is this Ben? That would be me. Got about a minute. <laughs> What's going on, CJ? Hi. Uh, my question was, uh, my husband and I were diagnosed with hepatitis C over okay. 10 years ago, and um, we live a really healthy lifestyle. We take our way. We take our candy tangerine. Um physically active, and we have uh, a lot of friends and stuff or family members that have done the interferon, and we're really hoping to not right. have to do that. And right. we're... You want You want some help with that, some nutritional help? Yes. Okay, well, here, I'm going to i got to just tell you something. I don't mean to beat you up here, and don't take this the wrong way, but when you say I, we live a really healthy lifestyle but I have hepatitis C, that's like saying i got smoke but there's no fire. You follow what right. I'm saying? So I don't want to right. beat you up, and you're probably way more healthy than your friends, but if indeed you have hepatitis C, which, by the way, is oftentimes asymptomatic, so you, you, do you have any symptoms with your hep C? No, not at all. Yeah. So. so hepatitis C is a virus that lives in the uh, uh, hepatitis C is a virus that lives in uh, in the liver. Hepatitis. So the, the hep always tells you that you're dealing with the liver. Hepatitis is an infectious disease, and uh, you want to deal with hepatitis with a viral infection in the liver the same way you deal with any other kind of virus. Viruses live in the body, but they don't pounce. They don't cause their effects until we're weak. They're opportunistic. They wait for us to be weakened. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your immune system is strong and healthy. Interferon is a drug version of an immune booster, but you don't need a drug to boost your immune system. You can use good nutrition, and you can use good, good dietary strategies to help boost your immune system on your own. First and foremost, stay away from anything that, reduces the, that, that weakens your immune system. And that is most importantly sugar and refined foods. Sugar is the, uh, eating sugar or drinking sugar especially is the fastest way to lower your immune response, to reduce your body's defensive capabilities. So staying away from those kinds of foods is very important. And then helping your body process those kinds of uh, uh, sugary foods is also important. Everything we just talked about with mm-hmm. Barb is going to be helpful for you. Niacin and chromium and vanadium and thiamine. And I didn't mention alpha lipoic acid, but that can also be very helpful, especially for the liver, by the way. Alpha lipoic acid. It is a super mega important antioxidant. We're going to be talking about that as it regards eye health here in the next day or two. Lots of things that you could do. Most important is strengthen your immune system. Keep your immune system strong. Stress will also, cortisol and the stress hormones will also reduce the immune response. So making sure that you're uh, uh, relaxing, using emotional and mental strategies to keep cortisol down, Bre- uh, deep breathing techniques in addition to all the uh, dietary and nutritional strategy, strategies you could do to keep your immune system strong. They're all important. And you can do it on your own, and that's the bottom line here, folks. We don't need doctors. We don't need drugs. We don't need pharmacy. We don't need insurance companies. We don't need Obamacare. We are self-contained healing systems. We can do it ourselves. That's the Bright Side message, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye for now. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now, here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. 
Bradley.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ships same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the survival seed vault at MyPatriotSupply.com. 